Ever wonder why there isn't a bridge connecting Europe and Africa? A fascinating question indeed, given the geographical proximity between the two continents. Specifically, let's take a closer look at the Strait of Gibraltar, a narrow body of water that separates Europe and Africa. At its narrowest point, the distance between the two continents is roughly 14.3 kilometers or about 8.9 miles. Now, imagine a bridge spanning that gap. Picture the potential benefits such a structure could bring. A surge in trade, a boost in tourism, and a tangible symbol of interconnectedness between two continents with rich, diverse cultures. It could be a marvel of modern engineering, a testament to human ingenuity, and a beacon of international cooperation. But here's the catch. If the concept of a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar sounds so beneficial, why hasn't it been done yet? Believe it or not, the idea of a Europe-Africa bridge isn't new. In fact, it's been proposed and pondered upon various times in history. Let's dive into the past and revisit these ambitious plans. Back in the 1930s, a group of Spanish engineers put forth the first proposal for a bridge spanning the Strait of Gibraltar. However, the idea was shelved due to the colossal engineering challenges posed by the depth and currents of the strait, as well as the financial constraints of the time. Fast forward to 1979, a German engineering company envisioned a grand tunnel, rather than a bridge, connecting the two continents. It seemed like a promising alternative, but the staggering estimated costs, coupled with the political complexities of such a venture, caused this plan to be abandoned as well. The dream didn't end there. In the 1980s, a Japanese consortium proposed yet another bridge. They presented a design that was truly a marvel of modern engineering, complete with artificial islands to support the structure. But again, the daunting engineering hurdles, enormous financial implications, and delicate geopolitical considerations resulted in another unrealized dream. So, as we can see, the idea has been explored but never materialized. Time and again, the dream of a Europe-Africa bridge has been halted by a mix of factors, reminding us that while our ambitions can be limitless, they are often tempered by the realities of our world. Building a bridge between Europe and Africa is no small feat. The challenges are vast and varied, with nature presenting the first hurdle. Picture the depth of the water in the Strait of Gibraltar, a body of water so deep it could swallow the Empire State Building. Couple that with strong currents that would complicate construction and maintenance, and you've got yourself a formidable opponent. Not to mention, this area is a buzzing hive for shipping routes. Imagine the logistical acrobatics needed to accommodate that traffic during construction. And then, there's the price tag. We're talking a bill in the tens of billions of dollars. But the challenges don't stop there. Politics and environmental concerns would undoubtedly come into play, adding another layer of complexity to an already monumental task. Would nations agree on the terms? Could the environmental impact be justified? The dream of a Europe-Africa bridge remains just that, a dream. So, why isn't there a bridge between Europe and Africa? Well, despite their geographical closeness, the dream of a bridge connecting these two continents is fraught with challenges. From the historical attempts that never quite got off the ground, to the sheer magnitude of the engineering feats required, it's clear that this is no ordinary project. The obstacles, both seen and unseen, are immense. For now, the Europe-Africa bridge remains an engineering marvel that exists only in our imaginations.